Forklifts and power walkies can be very dangerous for both forklift operators and employees walking through our warehouses and production areas. People like me and you can avoid injury by paying attention to our surroundings, staying a safe distance away from forklifts, and following basic safety procedures. Today we will review precautions we can take to prevent serious injuries that occur when forklifts or power walkies come in contact with pedestrians. At Rhino, we are doing our best to raise the awareness level of risk to keep you safe. After all, safety matters because you matter. There are different kinds of forklift accidents that occur. OSHA reports that on average, 100 deaths a year occur involving a forklift. OSHA statistics show that 62 amputations with fingers, toes, and legs occurred. One example in a report was that an employee was walking through the warehouse when a forklift operator reversed the forklift over the employee's left foot. This removed skin and partially amputated their foot. Personally, I couldn't imagine the pain. Forklift versus pedestrian accidents usually don't turn out well for the pedestrian. The weight of the forklift can simply crush you or cause serious injury. The main causes of these accidents are the forklift driver not paying attention. Unfortunately, you cannot always rely on the driver to be on point. The pedestrian cannot be seen by the forklift operator because the load is blocking their view or something like a blind corner or an aisle. Oftentimes, our forklift drivers need to travel with a load in front of them and it makes it difficult for them to see what might be in their path of travel. A pedestrian is walking in an area they shouldn't be, like directly behind or in front of an operating forklift. Or a pedestrian is standing too close to an operating forklift and is hit by the load that the forklift is carrying or is run over when the operator drives away. Hazards of walking near or working around forklifts. Warning, the following scenes are actual forklift accidents and may be graphic. Being struck by a forklift. Being crushed between a forklift and an object. Being struck by a falling object. Feet being run over by a forklift. A forklift collision with racking or equipment. Or falling off of a forklift. This is exactly why it's important that our forklift drivers wear their seatbelts. When thinking about working around forklifts, there are three general danger zones that we need to be aware of. The first is crossing travel lanes, like walking through a warehouse where forklifts are present. Corners and blind intersections, like doorways and hallways. And the third danger zone is the kill zone. The kill zone is the four foot radius around the forklift. Remember that the forklifts have rear steering that causes the back end of the forklift to swing wide when turning. Now here are some helpful tips from our forklift operators on how to work safely around forklifts. 
Keep a safe four foot distance away from the forklift. Assume that the driver does not see you. Always make eye contact with the forklift driver so that the forklift driver knows you're there. Don't be looking at your cell phone while in a forklift traffic area. Do not try to race or beat the forklift because you will not win. Do not walk around or underneath the forks when the forklift is being operated. Always keep alert when in the warehouse. Look both ways when crossing forklift paths and ice. Always listen for the forklift horn and look to see where the lift is at before proceeding. In closing, we have reviewed several reasons why you need to be aware of your surroundings when walking or working around forklifts and power washes. If you see an opportunity for improvement, please fill out an EMS form and submit it to your supervisor or to safety specialist. Thanks and stay safe.